In today's video, we're going to talk about the newly introduced GPT-40 by OpenAI. So first I'll give an introduction of GPT-40 and then I'll show you what kind of differences we see in a practical aspect. So on May, 20, uh, May 13th, 2024, OpenAI introduced GPT-40 and more tools to GPT-free uh, users. GPT-40 is, uh, is the newest flagship model that provides GPT-4 level intelligence, but is much faster and improves on its capabilities across text, voice, and vision. Today, GPT-40 is much better than any existing model at understanding and discussing the images you share, which we'll show you later uh, in our comparison, our side-by-side. -side. Uh, to make advanced AI more accessible and useful worldwide, GPT-40's language capabilities are also improved across quality and speed. In the future, improvements will allow for more natural, real-time voice conversation and even the ability to converse with GPT via, via uh, real-time video. But at the moment, this is not available yet, so we won't be showing this feature. So now I have ChatGPT 4.0 and ChatGPT 4 open side-by-side, -side, and I just use ChatGPT.com to access this. In order to access 4.0 and 4, you'll need a premium subscription. So um, if you don't have that, you won't be able to change to it. But once you do, you can just change between 4.0 and 4 right here by clicking this down arrow right here. But yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to compare how it analyzes screenshots. So first, I'm going to upload a screenshot. And I'm going to ask, what is this screenshot about? And then I'm upload the same screenshot to the other one. And I'm going to ask, what is this screenshot about? And if we look at the outputs from 4.0 and 4, um, they're mostly similar. There are minor differences. Um, for example, for this one, uh, for 4.0, we see that um, we see that it analyzes the, it, it provides mostly the similar stuff. Uh, and there's really no difference between them. They all provide uh, the talks about the general photo in the back and also talks about, um, also talks about these individual sections that we have on the web page. So the, really there's, we don't really see much difference in, uh, in this, but, um, but if I ask, for example, um, if I ask them to provide the HTML code, so let's say, uh, please uh, provide HTML uh, for the screenshot. Uh, provide HTML for the screenshot, and then I can do the same thing over here. Uh, provide HTML uh, for the screenshot as well and then we'll see uh, how this does and we see that it finishes that and uh, this is what we have on the left and this is what we have on the right and the code is slightly different that they provide for example um, for this one on the left which with 4.0 uh, they have a different nav bar and for the right with 4.0 they have a uh, for 4 they have a different nav bar as well for example on 4 right here we see that they don't include any section about the login on the top right here they only include um, uh, test exercises and login I mean and on this side this this side has home but this side doesn't have home my bad um, but yeah so um, this is what it looks like so uh, the differences are pretty minor but uh, we do notice that they provide a, a slightly different response um, let me show you something else that we can do for example we can upload a, uh, a test so uh, let's say I want to upload O SD test cases right here. Upload that and I ask it to analyze data. 
And then for this side, I can ask it to do the same thing. So OSD, test cases, open that, and then I'll ask it to analyze data. And one general thing that we noticed is that um, with 4.0, it is a little bit faster. See, for analyzing this file, it's much faster than this side, uh, uh, 4, which is still trying to analyze this file. It's, it's still looking through it, and it's taking a while. So on, on the left from the 4.0, we see that it provides uh, some information about the key columns and the meta information, as well as... Um, it cleans up the data for you. It'll reassign meaningful names and rows and remove rows and stuff. And then it provides you this output in this um, uh, right here, like this. Uh, and that's what it does. But on the right for this one, uh, we see with four, it's it's slower. It gives a less detailed response. And it doesn't give you um, a table like this. And we see that it's less detailed and so on. And so for this example, we see that the differences um, is much more apparent between 4.0 and 4. And I mean, for example, for the first one, it, it may be a little bit more uh, different, difficult to see the differences between the two, but the HTML code is a bit longer for the 4.0 than the 4, and um, the response is a bit more detailed uh, than comparatively to the 4. Uh, but, but yeah, so this is a minor change. Uh, this is not like completely a chat GPT-5, but this is chat GPT-4.0. So the changes aren't too grand, but we do notice changes from a practical aspect. For example, for analyzing this uh, this uh, Excel spreadsheet uh, for between the two. But yeah, so I just wanted to give a quick introduction and quick overview of um, the, uh, the practical differences between chat GPT-4.0 and 4. Um, if you found this video helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. And yeah, we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.